So one of the things that, that came from the debate this morning was the emphasis on behaviour change and how it's necessary to get people to buy into recycling through different ways of, of talking to people who generate waste. And alongside that bit of the conversation came a lot of complexity in terms of the uh, balance of, of negative messages, of positive messages, how you actually get people to change their behaviour. Is it first of all through attitudes or is it through getting them to change a small thing first and then moving to bigger things? So there's quite a lot to be said about this, but it is evidently a crucial piece of, of the jigsaw. But I think the big opportunity is to learn from good practice that's already taking place in different parts of the world, where upwards of 70% of recycling is being achieved in real cities, where real people live, and looking at how that's been done. And it is a combination of incentives, of disincentives, of spreading the message around, but crucially making it easy for people to do the right thing. That, of course, then begs the question of the political will, whether that's nationally or locally, in putting in place those kinds of policies and measures. In this country, unfortunately, we're nowhere near doing that yet. Well, I think what we've got to do is to not look at the process and try and squeeze people into some form of waste management program. We need to design the waste management program around human beings. And I think that we also need to tell them that there's actually benefits. Um, of recycling. I mean, there really are some serious benefits financially and also environmentally. And I don't think that that message has been really conveyed very effectively. Well, I think it's very important to uh, ensure that uh, school children are really taught about the value of recycling, uh, but also that the uh, problems do exist too in terms of uh, uh, people as consumers. And I think that they can send a very strong message to retailers that cutting down on unnecessary packaging, cu cutting down on unnecessary promotion, actually is a thing that consumers like and that retailers should respond to. Yes, I personally believe that it should be. And if smart councils are making good money out of recycling, that should be absolutely clear on the council tax bill so everyone sees what, what the upside is.